Okay, so uh, Dr. Shino will present the science and radiology. Uh, let's see what she has chosen for us this week. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, today I want to talk something about the aortic dissection and uh, discuss some of the signs that are present uh, on it, on CT mainly. Aortic dissection, first of all, occurs when the blood enters the medial layers of the aortic wall through the tear or pentritic ulcers in the intima and the tracks along the media, forming a second blood filled canal within the wall. Uh, how we can differentiate between the false lumen and the true lumen? False, uh, this is by the size first. Uh, the true one is uh, larger than, smaller than the false one because the false one contain blood or uh, atheroma. By the position, false canal usually arises anterior in the ascending aorta and spiral to posterior and left lateral in the descending aorta. Flow also, we can differentiate the false from the true one. The flow in the true one is uh, more, uh, more than that of the false one. Uh, secondary changes uh, such as thrombosis is uh, present in the false one. Also, we have some signs like big signs and another signs I discussed later on. Uh, we have normal aorta versus the aortic dissection. Normal aortic wall, we have adventitia, media, and intim. In the, fall, in the aortic uh, dissection, the intimal layer separates from the media. So the blood collects in there. Yes. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> I want the. Uh, in aortic dissection, the blood clots uh, within the aortic wall here, and their separations of the intima from the medial layer, and this extends to uh, whole the length of the aorta. And this is the CT. This is the normal, and this is the aortic dissection. Also, this is the true lumen, and this is the false lumen. The true lumen is rounded uh, with a stolic, uh, strong stolic Doppler study, and thrombus here is rare, while this is the false one in the crescentic shape, and uh, there's slush or no Doppler velocity on it. Thrombus are common here, and this is the sign, com sign. This is the com sign. This form is seen on CT angiogram in the arterial uh, dissection. It's a specific sign of false lumen, but infrequently seen. It represents the strands or ribbons of media crossing the false lumen and appearing as a thin filiform defect. This is another sign. Any one? Mercedes Benz sign. Uh, it's seen at three distinct intimal flaps uh, that have a triradiate configuration similar to that of Mercedes-Benz logo. Two of three uh, lumens outlined by these intimal flaps belong to the false lumen of the aortic dissection. The appearance are postulated to represent the secondary dissections in the wall of the dissected false lumen, also called a triple barreled aortic dissection. This is the Marcy's Ben signs and the uh, Kubweb sign. We have another sign. <laughs> Big bear sign. This helps to differentiate false from the true lumen in aortic dissection, seen in false lumen, which wedge around the true lumen. The wall of the false lumen and intimal flaps usually forms acute angle uh, resembling a bird peak. Here. So the one that has the peak is the false? Yes, the but false. Okay. No, false. False. The big, this one. Is the false one. False one. This is the false one, and this is the true lumen. 
Also, we have another uh, sign. This is the windsock sign. Seen in type A thoracic aortic dissection on CT. Type A, this is affect the ascending aortic arch and descending. Result from the intimo intimal intersusception between the true and false dissected lumen. The altering density of the contrast between the dissected lumen, which uh, taper distally, is resemble a wind sock. Um, just I want to discuss something about it. In aortic dissection on uh, chest X-ray, it's important to know there's uh, widening, mediastinal widening. There's a mediastinal widening, and there's widening of the aortic contour, opacifications of the aortopan pulmonary window. Pleural effusion, more on the uh, left side than the, on the right side. Uh, aortic kinking and the tracheal and sphagial dis, uh, displacement to the right. There's pleural cap. Uh, the first left main bronchus also is C. Medicine widening at vascular pedicle with more than eight centim on the supine positions with a sort of detector distance of uh, 100 centim. <coughs> Uh, mediastinal thoracic width more than 0.25, obscuations of the aortic arch, opacifications of AP uh, aortopulmonary window, shift of the trachea to the right, shifting of the esophagus to the right, displacement of sphere vena cava, depressed left main bronchus, left apical pleural cap, widening of the left and right paraspinal reflections, widening of the right paratracheal strip, strips. Uh, also made there uh, evidence of significant chest trauma, like uh, multiple rib fracture, especially the first rib, uh, lung contusion, hemothorax, especially on the left side, and pneumothorax. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, so, in summary, you have the Mercedes-Benz sign, the big sign, the cobweb sign. Yes. What else? Mercedes-Benz sign. And the, the Windsor sign. Yes. It's four signs, all of them representing uh, uh, aortic dissection. Thank you very much. Nice, focused, concentrated presentation. I like it.